Hello there. This is another little mini lecture. During the class yesterday morning, I demonstrated to those that were present um, the way that I actually do in-text referencing and my approach to it. Now, some people won't want to be creating a Word document the way that I do, but uh, and might want to type straight into any templates that we're asking for um, responses on. But this is how I do. So I've done a lot of online learning in the last 12, well, two years. And I'm never certain about my grammar and expression and so forth. So I like to do things on a Word document and then copy and paste it into the final product. So this is the way that I do in-text um, referencing and I hope that you get some good information about it. I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, at the moment, I have up on it a, a, a document that I'm going to type into. I'll just show you that document. It's just a Word document. Coming. <laughs> Okay, there it is there. So um, I'll just make that larger on my other screen so that it, it is quite large enough for you to see. I'll be coming back to this document constantly. For the moment, though, I'm just going to move it out of sight. And I want to show you how I actually, um, and I'll share that screen as well. Just bear with me while I get the settings up on the screen. It's taking a little longer than I thought it might. Just bear with me. So what I'm going to share with you is a, um, a search that I'm going to do, a Google search. Okay, so just um, have a look at how I go to the information that I'm going to use. <clears throat> so in this Google search, I'm going to look for uh, a particular website. Um, I can't remember its address, so I'm going to use Google search to find it. It's a website that the SBS um, have and uh, allow everybody to freely use. And it has great information about cultural and religious matters. Um, so everything you wanted to know about that person that you've just met that's from another country, has a different culture, this is where you can find it. So it's called the Cultural Atlas. Oh, and you can see that I've been searching for it before. And it will come up on the screen. Now I've clicked to go there. So the Cultural Atlas is a wonderful resource, and that's why I'm using this as my example. And if you have a look here, you'll see a sample of the types of cultures. But if we go here, we can actually view all cultures that they've got information written about and look at that. It's a huge list of people. So um, what I'm going to do is... Um, choose Iran because one of your assessments, the person's from Iran. So we have the Iranian culture. It's the core concepts, greetings, religion, family, naming, dates of significant, etiquette, do's and don'ts, communication, other considerations and so forth. I'm going to go to the communication because we're actually doing the communication unit at the moment. And I'm going to find information that I want to use in one of the answers of, of um, one of the assessments. So, or perhaps, um, yeah, well, this is this is make believe. So, um, this is purely for for um, purposes that to to explain in text referencing the API style. Okay, um, 
I like everything that I'm reading at the moment. What I'm going to do is copy this information. Now, I'm never going to, I'm going to copy. I'm never going to use that information unless I reword it. So what I'm showing you now is the Word document. And I'll just stop sharing the other page so that the Word document comes up. I will be going back to that other page in a moment. Okay, so now I'm sharing on top of the um, the screen the information that I'm going to use and plant into my, uh, I suppose you'd call it my draft. Okay, so I'll just make that a little larger for you to read. So I've copied this information. I can't use it the way it is because the APA referencing style says that I have to reword and put things into my own words. But even though I do that, I still have to acknowledge the fact that I got this information from somewhere else. So I'm going to reword it now. I'm not going to use all of this information um, as it is. Um, I'm going to summarise. So I'm going to say, um, Okay, so, so far I'm saying, oh, look at the mistakes I'm making. And this is why I like using a, a Word document because it allows me to see the mistakes I'm making immediately and make suggestions. So um, I also like the fact that they look towards nonverbal cues and speak figuratively to make a point. This has the purpose of avoiding embarrassment or offence and respecting another person. So. Um, the basis of this style of communication is to avoid embarrassment. And I know that's, uh, that one's incorrect. The basis, basis, that's not what I wanted to say at all. They have no suggestions. I know what I want to say. Those. So the basis of this style of communication is is to avoid embarrassment. Um, and also, they showing respect for the person that they are speaking with. It's not just Iranian cultures that do this. There's a number of other cultures that actually downplay everything um, just to be polite. And, of course, um, Iranians, like other, other cultures, they learn this stuff from birth, so it actually affects the way that they're communicating with people. Okay, I'm happy with the fact that I've reworded now. Now I have to show you how I acknowledge who it is um, or where I got that information from. So I'm just moving this over and hoping I'm going to stop sharing that and go back to sharing the, um, the other page that I have. I wish I could just pull things off and um, keep them there, but it doesn't appear to be so. Okay, so back to the website that I got this information from. This is all happening in split seconds normally um, without the hassles of having to share the screen and so forth. So hopefully you're, you're seeing what I'm now seeing as well. Now, 
it appears that the person that wrote this was a lady by the name of Nina Everson, and she wrote it in 2016. Um, often when you come to a website, you'll find that the website itself tells you how you want they want you to cite them. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And in this section here is usually information about the people or the site itself, who they collaborate is, is part of this uh, information, how to contact them. And this is the part that's really quite important to us. This is going to be how to cite the information that we've received from this website. So what it's saying is that if you're going to use our information, that's fine, but we want you to cite it properly. And they're actually using um, the API referencing style. So I now know that they want me to do it in the style that's required through the API referencing style. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll just go back to where we were before and check that I have all the information I need. So it's Nina Everson, 2016. All right. So on my sheet now, I'm going to share the other document, the Word document. I'll get that up. <laughs> Taking a while, sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to start filling in the information that is required when you're actually um, in text referencing. So this statement that I've made, reworded and so forth, it's not out of my own head. It came from Everson in 2016. That's in text referencing. That's all you have to do. I mean, if I was copying um, some of the information or, or using more of the information, uh, I might leave that in text referencing until the end of what it is that I'm borrowing. But for now, we'll just. Um... So the other thing I need to do now is show you how, at the same time as I'm in text referencing, how I record the information. And let's spell it properly. OK, so at the end of any document, um, you have to create a reference list. And I'm going to show you how to put this into the reference list now. So we have Everson Nina 2020, uh, 2016. We have the title, which I'm just going to reveal which is just Iranian culture communication. And it came from the cultural atlas, because they want us to say that, and then we copy the link and we put in the link. The um, SBS site guide also had the words retrieved from. I'll just type, type those in. Um, this is an older style of the APA referencing and no longer do you need to write that in. So I'm going to delete that. I know that they prefer to say that, but um, for our purposes, we, we, we need to follow the APA protocols that are the most up to date. So here we have now all ready to go and use by the teacher that's reading your work, um, 
or anybody else that's going to read things that you're going to reference in this way. Um, here we have the reference probably made and ready to be al alphabetized if there's more than one reference. So when you're putting in um, references into your reference list, you use the surname. So if I was to put in here now the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare um, and put in a date of 2024, um, and we'll say F, ref, <laughs> UG, populations, in Australia. Now, I'm just making this up, so um, it's not actually um, a real thing. Um, and then I'll put in a website, a make-believe website. Um, I'll use the one that I used before. Just change it a little bit. Uh, I H W. Okay, let's just pretend. Um, and I can now, I've got two things in my reference list, and this one obviously starts with an A. This one's an E. A becomes, uh, is before E in the alphabet. So I'm going to reverse the order of that and put it here. Okay, now there's one more thing that I have to do. Where, when there's a title in the reference list, what we do is we highlight it and turn it into italics. This one here, the only part of the title is this, and we turn that into italics as well. Okay, so that's in-text referencing in a nutshell. I'm happy to coach people through it. We can do lots more with it. Okay, I'm just going to close that and stop sharing. I hope that little mini lecture has helped you. There are still really good resources on referencing. Um, I might list a few of them in the hub under our resources so that you've got ready access to them. If you did your orientations um, uh, really quite well, you would have come across all of the referencing um, information during your orientation. Um, go back over it and have another look at it and uh, yes, yeah, see how you go. Practice, practice. Um, makes us perfect. Bye. <laughs>